We're gonna solve this equation, but one of the things that you wanna keep in mind is that sometimes checking your answers is not optional. After going through Algebra 1, sometimes you start to think that if I substitute the number back in, as long as I did all of my work correctly, then the answer I got is going to check out. But any time you end up looking at an equation, and that original equation has a variable in the denominator, checking your answer is not optional. We just learned about excluded values, and so we are not able to use any number that would lead me to dividing anything in the original by zero. So before I start even solving this equation, I want to have the numbers that cannot be answers in the back of my mind. Let's go ahead and do one step before I decide on those excluded values. So step one is we're going to factor the denominators. u squared minus 16 is a perfect square. a squared minus b squared is a plus b times a minus b. So this is u times u minus four times four. So that one is going to become u plus four multiplied by uh, u minus four. So I have my u minus four times u plus four. Okay, so now let's go ahead and just identify any excluded values. The number that would make that denominator equal zero would be four. The number that would make that denominator equal zero would be negative four. And both four and negative four would make that denominator equal zero. So I'm just going to remind myself before I even get started that if I solve this and end up getting negative four or four, I want to throw it out. Okay, so next our strategy when we have a bunch of fractions is to multiply both sides by the denominators and all the fractions go away. So in my denominator, I have both u plus four and u minus four. So I am going to multiply both sides by u plus four and u minus four. When I multiply this blue, I'm gonna need to distribute that through so if I multiply the blue times the first fraction, both of these pieces cancel with these two pieces and the only thing left is the number six. When I take the blue multiplied by the second fraction, the u minus fours cancel. So I'm gonna have negative six and I will still have a u plus four. Okay, so negative six times u plus four equals and then on the right side, when I multiply the u plus fours cancel, and I'm left with one times u minus four. This equation looks substantially easier now that all the fractions are gone. So let's go ahead and distribute. The six in front is still there. Negative six times u is negative six u, and negative six times four is minus 24. Bring down the equal sign. 1 multiplied by u minus 4 is just going to be u minus 4. I'm going to start simplifying on the left side, combining like terms. 6 and negative 24, those can go together, and 6 minus 24 is negative 18. So I'm going to have this negative 6u minus 18, bring down the equal sign, and bring down the u minus 4. Letters on one side, numbers on the other. Um, I'm not showing a lot of work on this. I'm going to subtract u, negative 6u minus a u is going to be negative 7u, add 18. So on the right side, negative 4 plus 18 is 14. Get rid of multiply by negative 7 by dividing by negative 7. And 14 divided by negative 7 is negative 2. Now I do want to check this, so checking it one more time the number negative two is gonna be fine because it's not going to lead me to dividing by zero. I already knew ahead of time that if this number would have been a negative four or a positive four, then I would have had to thrown it out and say no solution. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and do one more. Okay, so step one, I'm gonna factor my denominators. I still have this uh, left side, but I'm gonna change x squared plus two x minus eight. Oh, thank you. Oops, that do its thing here. Okay, so when I factor that one, I'm gonna end up with x plus four multiplied by x minus two. And I'm gonna just pause kind of for a second because I'm worried in the end about dividing by zero. So if I look at this equation and think of what are my excluded values, what numbers cannot be substituted in? Well, if I substitute negative four into that denominator, I'll divide by zero. If I substitute positive two into that denominator, that will lead me to dividing by zero. And this denominator, if I substitute negative four or positive two, that will lead me to dividing by zero. So I'm going to exclude um, two and negative four. I need to fix that just really quick because that says four. Okay, so two, two and negative four are the couple of numbers I do not want to have as answers. So when I finish solving that, if I end up with either one of those numbers, I'm gonna to have to throw it out and say no solution. Okay, so let's go ahead and multiply both sides by the denominators, because that's your shortcut. So here I'm gonna put a set of parentheses around the left and around the right. And the denominators in this one are both x plus four and x minus two. When I multiply the blue times the first fraction, the x plus fours cancel and I'm left with a one and an x minus two. When I multiply the blue times the second fraction, the x minus twos cancel and I'll be left with a negative three and an x plus four. On the right side of the equal sign, the blue cancels out everything in the denominator so all I have left is the number six. This equation has been greatly simplified by multiplying both sides by the denominators. So now let's just do some distributive property. One multiplied by x minus two is x minus two. Negative three times x is negative three x and negative three times four is minus 12 equals six. These are on the same side, so let's combine those. X minus three X is negative two X, and negative two minus 12 is negative 14. Bring down the equal sign again. Move letters to one side, numbers to the other. So if I add 14, I'm gonna get 20. And on the left side, I still have negative two X. Divide both sides by negative two, and I end up with negative 10. This answer is actually an answer, but one more time, if this answer happened to be the number two or negative four, we would throw it out and say that this um, equation does not have an answer, no, no real solutions.